You know, prior to the pandemic, one in five San Diegans were food insecure. Now, one in three San Diegans are, which means they are unable to provide three nutritious meals per day for themselves and their families. Wesley Burt, executive director of Plus Box, is here to tell us how they are helping with all of that. So Plus Box, you guys have been a bit, uh, been around for what, a couple years now? 2020, you guys started. Tell us about this box and all the um, nutrition that it can bring families that really need it. Yeah, so Plus Box is a food security program that focuses on uh, improving nutrition, expanding access, and supporting sustainability. So we work with uh, food rescuers, local growers, and neighborhood schools to distribute uh, these boxes of fresh, healthy, nutrient-rich food on a weekly basis. Cool. I mean, you can pack a lot in here. Uh, this is like a, a vegetable salad that you can have here. <laughs> you got the brown rice. So tell us a little bit what's in here and why these particular products were, ch were chosen. Yeah, so we're, we're really focused on nutrition, and so in doing that, we focus on produce. And so we pack each of these boxes with uh, nine to 10 varieties of fruits, vegetables, always a two pound bag of uh, rice, beans, oats, something like that. But what we're trying to get to um, is enough healthy food to support a household. Mm -hmm. um, it usually uh, shakes out to 10 to 12 pounds of, of food uh, a week. You know, produce is so important and also honestly kind of expensive, right? And, and it's something that goes to the wayside for when families are really, really tight on money. That's right. So uh, one of the things we try to do when we think about the sustainability aspect of our work is uh, a lot of the food we get is donated to us. So we're redirecting it from what might have gone into a landfill uh, when it's still perfectly good to go into the homes of folks who don't typically have access to this type of food. And then we also purchase some of the produce from local growers, so we're trying to support the, okay. the local agriculture economy as well. You guys launched uh, right around the pandemic time when right. uh, the need was great and it has not stopped. In fact, it's gotten worse, right? I mean, to hear that 40% of kids in our county are food insecure, that's a staggering number. Yeah, it's pretty bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we, uh, we started during the height of the pandemic um, noticing that food insecurity was uh, skyrocketing. Yeah. Um, my background is I've worked with schools and in education for a little while. So when schools closed, they were doing drive-through lunch distribution for students on free and reduced right. lunch. Our theory was that those food insecure kids were going home to food insecure households. So if we could show up at the same day at the same time as those distributions, and hand out these boxes that could support the whole household, yeah. not just the student, that we'd be doing something uh, positive awesome. in our community. You guys are getting some federal funds too? We are. Talk about that and how that's helping. Yeah, so one of the things we noticed over the last couple of years is um, there's not necessarily a shortage of food, but um, there's a shortage of access to that food for a lot of families. Yeah. So we're trying to reimagine the way parents access support by developing uh, a software application that will minimize barriers uh, to access this type of food okay. um, and connect people with the food resources that are available to them. Awesome, that sounds good. And people can help out. If you're at home right now and you're like, look, this is a great concept. I know people need food right now. I wanna help out. Uh, tell us how people can volunteer and uh, the opportunities that you have for that. Absolutely, so we host uh, three or four packouts every week, is what we call it. Pack outs, okay. Yeah, we have volunteers come in and uh, pack up these boxes. Uh, we do uh, up to 150 boxes per session. Um, so people can come in, it's pretty low key. Uh, try, to, try to make it fun, but mm -hmm. Uh, come pack these boxes, get them ready for distribution. Uh, you can go on our website, uh, www.plus-box.org, uh, and sign up for one of our volunteer sessions or uh, support us financially. Uh, awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, that's going to help out a lot of families here, that's for sure. And then the app, what is the app? Can people access that now? Not quite. Okay, uh, we're it's, working yeah, on it. Yeah, it's still in the development phase. Okay. So our, our uh, grant project started in October. It runs through March of 24. So we're, we're, we're going to launch it this fall with awesome. one of our school partners. So. Well, so we'll have to have it back on then to talk about the That'd app awesome. and the great things you guys are doing at Plus Box. That'd be awesome. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah.